All right, so we're going to talk about covalent compounds. Another word for covalent compounds is molecules. So when you hear that word, it's they're talking, referring to covalent compounds. So um, anytime two or more nonmetals come together, they're going to share their valence electrons, and those are what creates covalent compounds. Notice covalent, sharing their, co their valence electrons with each other. And this only occurs in nonmetals. Okay, so two nonmetals. All right, so different types of bonds that can occur within a covalent compound. We can have a single bond, which is a sharing of two valence electrons. For example, fluorine. Notice fluorine's sharing the two valence electrons in there, making them both have um, eight electrons around their uh, outer shell, which is what they want. Uh, double bonds uh, share four valence electrons within each other. Oxygen's a good example of a double bond. When oxygen bonds with itself, it shares four electrons within itself, creating a double bond here. Um, and then there's lastly a triple bond. You can't go higher than a triple bond. There's no such thing as a quadruple bond. So triple bonds, the big, most we can share. They share six valence electrons. And nitrogen's an excellent, excellent example of that, sharing six valence electrons with each other, um, making them both have eight total, which is what they were looking for. Okay, so great. So let's talk about the characteristics of these covalent bonds and how they work together. All right, so we, um, the strength of them, how strong they are within each other, depends on the distance between the two nuclei. The further they are from, the further the nuclei are from each other, the easier they are to break. Okay, so the closer they are, the stronger that bond is. Um, however, I want you to note that they're not as strong as ionic bonds. Ionic bonds have a very strong, um, strong bond and connection to each other. So those are the strongest type of bond we can have. Covalent bonds are, are not as strong as those guys. The bond length depends on the number of bonds it holds between them. So uh, if we have a triple bond versus a double bond versus a single bond, this, these two carbon atoms are very close to each other versus these two carbon atoms, which are further apart. There's only a single bond connected, which also means that the strength between these, with this triple bond is much greater than the strength between, the single, between these carbons and the single bond. So it goes in order of strongest and shortest to longest and weakest. Um, also, when they create these exo they, they, sorry, when they create these bonds, it's what we call an exothermic process, meaning it releases energy. They're like thankful, oh, thank you so much for bonding with me. So they release that energy. So it's an exothermic process, meaning that it's very low in energy. They like being bonded together. So this, all these things encompass covalent bonds or covalent, covalent compounds.